scapegoats back in my garage. Okay, we have a plan for today. I'm going to show you that plan. And, uh, you know, I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> I'm not even tired. Okay, so I have an idea. Uh, and the community has mentioned this several times, and I've talked about it on several occasions. And we're going to do it. Um, and we're going to recreate the, um, the general mayhem. Now you can go look that up. People are like painted orange, like general E kind of crap. Um, no, uh, I don't want to Dukes of Hazard this out and then get demonetized because I put a Confederate flag on the roof. But what I want to do is there's a show called roadkill. It's an internet show on motor trend where these guys take weird, strange old cars. They fix them up for cheap and they they do weird stuff with them sometimes not even cheap but they do weird stuff with them and uh, i'm gonna push this back a little bit there we go push this back okay we still gotta get the park brake cable on here but it runs so what we're gonna do is i still think there's there's not enough oil in this thing um because when i checked check the dipstick where was it it was here somewhere wasn't it it didn't feel like there's enough oil. Some people said I poured it wrong. I'm going, I don't know. I feel like I did it right. Where is the dip? There it is. Okay. Like it, it, it's got a, it's in, it's in the, the range. It's just not right. Um, but that's all right. So what we're going to do is some body work needs to be done on this thing. The general mayhem is just an interesting car. These guys put together a bajillion years ago and it's not a perfect car that that's the kind of the whole point of this so we're going to remove the fender um i think i think it's a driver's side fender okay we're going to remove the fender and there's an extra bolt here somewhere i got i got to remove i always forget where it is oh no wait a minute no I no there isn't okay perfectly 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 good okay the fender's got to come off and the hood's got to come off, but we have, do we have a hood? I don't think we have a hood. I think we ditched the hood. I think the hood was just so banged up. So that'll make this a bit easier, but we're going to take this over to the workbench here. <sighs> Apparently we're going to damage it some more or something. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Just here, put this on this workbench. Okay. Well, we'll do, you know, what? we'll do it on the floor. Okay. So what we need to do is go get uh, paint and we're going to paint this orange orangey red okay body um color here it is okay so we want like an orange i think i think somewhere in this neighborhood of orange will work okay we're gonna take this orange and where's the where's the paint there it is oh no where'd it go is this it no that's black i don't want that that's no that's purpley black never mind get rid of this oh yeah everything appears in the room now it's not out here there it is Okay, not everything, but some things appear in the room here. So we're gonna paint this orange. There we go. Perfect. All right. Like General Lee kind of orange. All right, let's just spray paint this up. Perfect. Okay, this is gonna work out great. Oh, look at this. This is looking lovely. I'm gonna just use this whole can of paint up on here. Because <laughs> I can. And I don't need the extra paint. Actually, I don't, I, you know what? We're just going to ditch this out the window. And now we need a hood. And we're going to paint that blue. Um, so body for the Chad. Oops, no, that's not the Chad. That's the Chad we need. Where is it? Did I did I start recording? Oh, I did. Okay. There we go. I wasn't sure if I started recording. Okay. There's the trunk lid. I might have to look up some pictures of the car. Um, there's the hood there. All right. Buy the hood. And then we got to go get uh, another color thing, and we got to buy. We need to get a dark blue. So, like something in the neighborhood of that, maybe, or is it more blue? I think it's more blue. Let me just check a picture real quick so I can uh, prove this here. Just give me one second. It's actually a lighter blue from the looks of things here. Um, I 
I need it needs to be blue though. That's too purple. Let's get it right down to the blue. It's a little lighter than that. So maybe about there. Okay, we're gonna buy that. I think that's close enough for what we're trying to achieve here. Oh yeah, gotta grab this. Hey, look, it showed up here, nice. Okay, okay, that might be a bit, let me just hold my picture up to the screen. Actually, that's not bad in the picture I'm looking at. Uh, it does look darker in other pictures, but this will make it stand out a little bit. It depends on the lighting, and that's the problem with looking at pictures on the internet, is it all really depends on the lighting, right? Now the rest of the car just appears to be primer black. Uh, I don't think we can do primer black. So we're just gonna leave it the original black that it is. Okay, okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. It doesn't have to be perfect because the general mayhem is not perfect. All right, okay. So then we're gonna put the doors on and the hood on and the fender back on and we're gonna have what we call the general mayhem. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to do this. I just really did. Okay. You know, I was watching Roadkill the other night, and I was like, man, one of my favorite episodes of that show. Go watch it if you get a chance. They take um, this car to Dirtfish, which is like a rally school. Oh, this is perfect with the primer still sticking through. Um, and they... Uh, they race it around a rally track and is it does it do well of course not it's not that kind of car but it looks hilarious if you've ever watched the dukes of hazard it really oh yeah we got to put the sail panel on there's also almost some green on the left fender on the top so we might add that as well but i don't know okay but this is going to be painted black so let's get some black paint dude Give me, get it, come here. Okay, where's the, okay, I'm just, I'm too low to the ground. Okay, there we go, okay, dude, okay, there we go. All right, so we need, like, black paint. So we're gonna buy that. Where's that? Okay, here we go. Now, oh, you know what I should do, actually? Screw this for a sec. Where is it here? Uh, oh yeah. Let's look at the original color for the car, and we'll use that as the base. 181D1C. All right, let's see here. 181D1C. Bam. Okay, we're going to buy that. There we go. Now, it's probably just black, but I just want to make sure. This is still dirty. That's what's coming through there, but it kind of adds to the whole allure of the car. All right. Okay. I think that's just, that's just dirt, right? Yeah, that's just dirt, okay. So does that get bolted down or is that, is that just stuck on there? I can't really tell. Uh, this part of the dashboard's not screwed down. That much I can tell. So we're gonna fix that. Oh no, it is screwed down. Okay, that's fine. I can't find... It looks like that, that may just... And that's not a sail panel, by the way. I'm just calling it that. Um, can I can I see inside here? Okay, ooh, what's going on? Okay, I don't see any bolts to hold it on. So we're just gonna assume that just sits there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, can we, there we go. We can put it on now. All right. Excellent. All right. So where's my screwdriver or my wrench? I'm going to put that on and then we're going to finish up the body. Now I can't do exactly like they did because they use like a mesh panel for the front and all that. And there's none of that in this. Yeah. I'll tell you if the roadkill guys ever wanted to make a video game, this is, this is what they should use. Now, according to the pictures, this panel is going to have to be come off and be painted black um, with a touch of green on top. Uh, let's see. Where did I? There it is. Okay. At least it looks like it anyway. But again, it's hard to tell. Like, I also feel like um, this should be less blue than it is. But I think for now it'll work. 
Um, we can use this black paint here to paint this up. All right. There we go. And then I think we'll put a little stri a strip of terrible green across the top of the fender because uh, it kind of shows when you're in the brighter pictures of the car. It's same with like, I matched, I just held my phone up to my screen to check the, the color on this. And uh, the blue really matches <laughs> like when you hold up the screen, but the picture I have, the car's in very bright sunlight. And it's like a very metallic blue. But you can see on the top of that one fender is like a bunch of green on this fender. So we're going to find almost like a moss green and toss it on top of that. Mostly because we can. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary for it to be a perfect match, but I want to get it. Sorry, excuse me. I just had the burps right now. Okay, I'm gonna, is this, this is kind of match? Let me hold up my phone. No, it needs to be more like mossy than that. Uh, that's not terrible. Let's go a little darker. Let's try that. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna, where's, where's, oh God, I'm zoomed in again. Okay, here, I, I always forget I'm zoomed in on things. And then, okay, here we go. So right across the top of this fender. Is a little bit of green. Now that's too much green. So we're gonna take the black. And just molester this into whatever <laughs> form of car I'm making. Okay. We don't want it too showy. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to put this back on. Bam. Okay. Now, it looks crazy. I understand that. And the colors are definitely too bright, but it, it's really an awesome car. And I just fell in love with it the first time I saw it. I'm not even a Dodge guy. Yeah, this is this is working out beautifully. Um, I gotta say, <laughs> I just have to say. Okay, so we're gonna put the. I think we should put the doors on. I don't care about the interior at all. Um, because who cares? This is not a show car. This is a a, a stupid car. Actually, they put a four forty in it out of a mini or out of a motorhome. The first episode they ever did with it. They found a motorhome with a 440 in it and dumped it in. And the 440 is an awesome and terrible engine at the same. If you've ever worked with a 440, and I've only done it a couple of times, they are the worst and best engine you'll ever work with. <laughs> they're just all so bad. But they're so good when they work. You know, Dodge produced some pretty cool, unreliable motors over the years. Beautiful. Okay. This is, this is stunning in all sorts of ways. Okay. I love it. I love it so much right now. Okay. Um, now, we're going to need front end pieces, rear end pieces, all that stuff. So let's go to body here. Let's see here. We want, uh, what's this? The grill. Hmm, we're going to buy that. We're also going to need a bumper. What's this? this the, the, or the valance, I guess, but we'll worry about that in a second. Let's see. Now, I'm scratching my beard. You can probably hear that. Okay, let me see. So, bumper front, bumper rear. I guess that's the cowl panel that was there. Let me see. There should be a rear valance. That's fine. Rear panel and rear valance. Let's grab all that. Whoa, okay. What, what are you? You're the rear panel. Okay, what, okay, you're the grill. All right, we'll stick you in. Oh my God, actually, it, it really kind of, kind of is the same. Well, this is good news. Now, how does one tighten that down is the question. Um, where's my, where, oh, um, there it is. Okay. We know where it is. Don't judge me. Okay. Oh no, you got to screw that down, don't you? Okay. Okay. Where's the screwdriver? Oh, there it is. Okay. We'll leave that there. Pick up the screwdriver. You know, no matter how many videos I make about this, everybody's always like, you know, you can carry a part and your tool at the same time. And I know that, but I got so used to playing it the other way. Uh, I don't think I'll change. <laughs> 
What is that? Is that... Okay, that's it. All right. Now, according to my pictures of the General Mayhem, it has a front bumper, but I don't think it has the front valance. Um, so we'll see. Or do we need the front valance to make that work? Wait, is this the rear bumper? That's the rear bumper. What am I doing? Some of these don't have graphics for the backside. And the car is covered in rust in real life, too. So that's kind of, again, uh, the point of all this. Okay, I must want the uh, the valance for it to, to go on. So we'll grab that. Hang on. That's the tail panel. Where where'd the front valance go? Or did I not buy it? Let's see. Valance rear. Okay, I can't find it. Where are you? We'll grab that. Where is it? I'm going to fire you on. That needs to be painted black. Honestly. Okay. We're going to Okay, where to Okay, okay, there it is. All right, where's my black paint? There it is. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. Okay. Paint this kind of blackish. Hopefully I don't run out of... Well, if it doesn't matter if I run out of paint because the car's not perfect. The point of any car building game, I find, is to make it as fun as possible for you and not about making necessarily the perfect, awesome car. Oh, is it is it underneath where I got to get to? It is. In you go. Is there any other bolts for this or is this just it? No, I think we're good. I think that's all it is that holds it in. Nice. Okay. Drop you. Front bumper can go on. Nice. Okay. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay. And then that one. Okay. So that takes care of the front end. It's looking very general mayhemy. I gotta say. It's looking so good. Okay, so let's put the rear panel in. Now we're also gonna have to buy tail lights and all that garbage, but how does this one stay in? I don't see anything. Does it just sit there? It must, I don't see anything to hold it in. Or if there is something, maybe it's underneath. No, it wouldn't be underneath, would it? Wait a minute, did I see something? No, I think we're good. Okay. Put the rear bumper on it. Okay. Now, the rear bumper probably bolts on, so... Oh, yeah, here we go. And on. Now we just we need tail lights and headlights. Looking looking saucy. Okay, what's this? This is the rear valance. Okay, this will go underneath here. Or no, will it not? What's this? Valance rear. Already have a rear valance. What am I doing? How stupid was that? Okay, get out of here, rear valance. Alright, so we need all the lights, at least the tail lights anyway. Let's see. Um, would that be under body or is that accessories? Oh, that might be accessories. Cluster, battery, mirror, mirror, mirror. Um, is it under body? Let me see. I don't see it. It's not part of the interior, is it? No. Huh. So how do I get rear tail lights in this? They're panel lights, so they got to be a, a, a purchasable. Unless it's. Am I just missing it? Am I stupid? Is that is that what it is? Tail light. There it is. Okay. Okay. Now, it has no trim.
There we go. Uh, as far as I can tell, I'll double check, but I don't think it has any trim whatsoever on the car in real life. Okay, it's screwdriver. Okay, I figured. Let's see. Where's the screwdriver? Oh, my goodness. There, okay, here it is. This is coming together so well. Oh, my God. Okay. It's just, okay, how do we, how do we screw it in? Is it that? There's one. I'm sure there's another one in here. I know I'm going to find you. If I, oh, there we go. I just got to look inside the fender like a real mechanic. Okay, here we go. Do those look screwed down? I think those are screwed down. All right. Excellent. Um, They're going to need bulbs, obviously. Now, I do have some bulbs I kept over here. Um, and I think these are the ones that work in here. Yeah, those work. So we don't have enough, but we have a few kicking around here that we can get into here. Oh, no. Okay. Just come here, you. Okay, just get in there. Okay, there's two. Yeah, this process can take a bit. <laughs> Putting lights and things. And we still need to do the headlights, but okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, that goes in there. And then we need two more lights. Um, I'm not sure if it takes the same headlights as the other car, like the sealed beams. I'm assuming it does of some sort, but we'll try one out and see what happens. Okay. Let's see. We need two more of these little bulbs. But there's got to be some kind of sealed beam for that, right? So I must just, again, missed it. Like, I, I'm not the best at searching through the menus there. I get very distracted very easily. And then this is what happens. So we'll put that in there like this. Okay. We're also going to need a gauge cluster and all that crap. And we need to put on the parking brake still. But the parking brake should be easy enough. All right. Here we go. This is just about ready for prime time, gentlemen, ladies, anybody who's watching. Okay. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. So those are hooked up. Nice. So we got to find the headlight pods. Headlight. Jesus, I'm stupid. Okay. I found it. Okay. So the other car needs a headlight now. Oh, geez. I'm going to need four of these freaking things. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll grab uh, two more. Actually, we're going to need three because I got to replace the one on my, other, <laughs> on my other car. Okay. Let's see. We'll put this in. There we go. And then we'll put the other one in. We gotta screw them all down and then we gotta put lights in all of them. Um once I find my screwdriver that I left. It should be somewhere super convenient. Oh, there it is. Okay. We're gonna screw this down. Yes, this is going well but slow. Okay, just gotta right there. Got it. Okay. So you, you, you. And then I guess I got to see inside the fender. You can get screwed down and then you can be screwed down. And I think that that needs to be screwed down. All right. So we just need a couple more headlamp things, bulbs, if you will. I just bought another one and now I can't remember where I put it. Um, you know, my life would be easier if I just remembered things. Okay. Excuse me. Coming through. Look out. Coming through. So we need three more headlights, head, or, uh, what is this? Yeah, headlights. So yeah, so I'm just an idiot, and that took a while to find that. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. Nope, I said no. Okay. I'm going to put this one in wherever there's a naked spot. There we go. Did I miss some wiring? Like, did, or is it all wired already? I don't even know. Grab another one of these, take this over here. This is going really well, though. Because at some point, the general mayhem is going to live. Um, 
you know, if Roadkill ever made a game, they should contact this guy and be like, yo, okay, we're, we're going to get you to help build our, our Roadkill game. Man, that would be the best game where it was like an open world, you know, where it's like, and then they give you challenges like, go, you have 300 bucks, go buy a car, get it running and drive it back. <laughs> you know, like stuff like that. All right, let's, uh, oh, oh, I had it. There we go. So those lights are in. You can't even see them. It looks great. Okay. Now we did buy a cluster, which we should probably put in. Now the cluster, I don't remember if you got to do anything to keep it in or if it just goes in. I think it just goes in. Let me see here. Let's, let's get into the car. We'll see if it works. It appears to be working. All right. Excellent. Okay. Let me out. Okay. Now this has no windows, but neither does the, uh, the general mayhem. Now it has a mirror on that side. It does have a mirror on this side. I think the last thing we really need to do is put the parking brake on it. Um, so we're going to go to the Chad. We're going to go to, is it under engine? The parking brake or is it under brakes? Probably brakes. Let's see here. Uh, main brake line, brake master cylinder, handbrake cable. All right. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, there you are. Okay. Now we're probably going to have to get her back up on the hoist for this, but that's easy enough. So we're going to take this. Wait a minute. Does it even have a handbrake? It doesn't even have a handbrake. Um, is it a foot brake on these? No, that would be stupid. What am I thinking? Okay, it needs to go back a little bit. Okay. Okay, back here, back here. All right. I'm going to put this under here and this under here-ish. That should work. And then we'll get this one under. We'll look for and see if they have the handbrake in uh, the uh, stuff before we put her up on the hoist completely. All right, let's go check for the handbrake. All right, let's see. Handbrake, handbrake. Oh, there's the handbrake there. It's it's a pedal. It is a pedal brake. Okay. Okay, get up here. Okay, this should go. What the? Does it already have one in? I don't think it does. Oh, I had it. Bam. Okay, no problem. And we'll grab this wrench. We'll do that in. All right, now we just got to put the cable on it. Whoa, I moved the whole car. What the heck? Does that still work? Okay, that'll be good enough. All right, so then we're going to drop the handbrake. There it is. Okay, up you go. And then once the handbrake's on, we should be good to rock and roll. All right. Okay, we're going to take this handbrake here. Oh, come here. Come here. Okay. I'm super excited about this. I must already have one. Um, because I'm not seeing where this goes. And it looks, uh, looks, looks like there's a lot of... Okay, well, I guess we're not uh, installing a handbrake, um, because we can't. Okay. It also looks like the floor here may be a little bit dinged up, so maybe we can pound that back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now, it technically needs wiper motors, but I don't think the General Mayhem actually has them, so who needs it? Unless I got to put a parking brake on there first. Hang on a sec. Rear right caliper, front left caliper. Because there's like a miniature caliper that, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's go take, let's go take her for a ride. Okay, let's, um, it, 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 it seems to be, let's start it up here for a sec. Now, if I try to back out. Yeah, the handbrake must already have been there. Okay. Oh, 
my god, this is awesome. Okay. Let's get her in this, uh, this light here for a sec. If it makes for a good screenshot. <laughs> Welcome to General Mayhem. It's got one piece of trim left on it. I like it. Okay. Welcome the General Mayhem to the collection of terrible cars I own. <laughs> Who needs windows and stuff when you've got V8 muscle car power? Let's go down that weird bridge I go down when I'm driving this thing. Where's the bridge? There it is. Oh, she's quick. Like, quick, quick. Oh god, she just wants to spin out. Grab third. Okay. Oh god, stop! Stop! Okay. Okay, she runs great. But now we're getting outside the map. Do the lights work? That's a good question. They they do. I put the hazards on. I open the door. Okay, so There we go. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> God. She's so terrible. I love it. And they have a turbo for this, which will be our next project, I think. Oh, this is amazing. This is so good. Oh my god! The general mayhem is ready to live her life. Okay. This is great. This is wonderful. This might be the this might be the coolest project I've done so far. <laughs> so you know what? I'm gonna leave this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed this build. We should do some more interesting builds with this. Maybe the Dukes of Hazard next, because people have been on my case about that. Um, that could be fun. But if you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe uh, tell your friends to subscribe. And uh, you get your dog to subscribe and your horse to subscribe. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber, because I am not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! I'm so hot for this car right now. Out! <laughs>